All right. This is part two of the unboxing of the signed pieces. I had a two gallon bag. I already, I just did about half of it and it took about 20 minutes. I'd like hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. I like to keep these videos at about 20 minutes because I know it's hard to, um, to make time for anything much longer than that, especially pre-recorded when you're live, it's a little different. Here's this one. So these are all signed pieces from my bulk buy. And I, uh, this is really cute. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. So everything is signed. I have not looked through these. I'm looking through them with you. This is a Chico's. She had these items bagged and in a two gallon bag, individually bagged like this and they were marked signed. So I know that they are all signed pieces, but I have no clue what's in here. So you guys are looking through it with me. This feels cheap. Um, I don't know if it's like that rolled stuff. You know how they roll paper? Let me see what it says. It says bead for life bead for life and let me see what it says on the back it says made in uganda so i don't know i don't know if those are some sort of i can probably look that up pretty easily but bead for life maybe they're like some sort of i don't know we'll see it's some sort of bead so yes this is a part of my 344 pounds of jewelry that i got for less than 200 dollars. i bought it on ebay to sell on ebay if you would like more details you can go back and watch the playlist i got so much jewelry this is just another little costume piece it is marked hmm i think um hold on let me see i have had two or three of these it looks like pd with a crown and then like a little leaf flower looking thing that it sits on top of. It's got to be something. And I know somebody knows it. Can you guys see that at all? Man, I really, um, maybe I can take a picture of it and attach it or something. Because I found like three pieces. I found two in the other video. And then this one. And I just cannot tell what it is. This is a Chico's piece. Got the little like fringe tail on it and this feels like it could be like leather or plastic I'm not sure but it's just a costume jewelry piece so you guys I have I ordered a ring light and it came and it was broken and I ordered another not a ring light I'm sorry um a light box I have a small light box that I've been using for my bracelets and rings, but I want something that my necklace holder will fit in. So I ordered the first one and it came and the lights did not work. This is another Chico's piece. So I returned it and I ordered another one and I got it today and I was all excited thinking I was going to be able to do, um, to list some items either today or tomorrow. I'm not feeling great today, so I'm guessing tomorrow. And they sent me the wrong, um, sorry, the wrong uh, light, light box. It's just completely wrong. So this says signed. I don't see anything. I don't see where it's signed. So I'm going to look in here and see if I can find something maybe on this class. Oh, yeah, it's got something marked there. It's really, it's Monet. So it's a Monet piece. So like a tight necklace there, choker. This is Charming Charlie. And I keep hearing that the C means Charming Charlie. So I'm kind of excited that this has the original tag and it only retails for $13. And it looks like it might've come with earrings, but I kind of want to see what the, the tag looks like, but I'm not seeing anything, any markings. That's weird, it's not really tagged. So we'll have to look into that one. 
The next item, this one's kind of cool. It's kind of a fun, like, pendant type bead. And this one says, I think this is J. Crew. J. Crew just seems to have like really cool stuff. Yeah, this one's J. Crew. So you can see here, and it's um, it's just a cute piece. I think that that'll do well. All right, Banana Republic. Let's see what's inside. Oh, <laughs> uh, it says March. Um, so it looks like it's just like a birthstone necklace, but it does have the little tag that is, oh, BR now. Okay, so I think it was the last video. I'm like, what is a backwards B and a front R? I just figured it out. It's Banana Republic. This retails for 38, it's new in the box. So definitely a costume piece, but I can definitely sell it. BR, Banana Republic, that makes total sense. Let's see what this guy is. Shouldn't say guy, it's girl. Let's see what this girl is. So it doesn't feel super heavy. Um, I don't, I'm looking for a marking. She had it in the sign bag, you know what? Yeah, I was making sure that my video was still going. Can't imagine unboxing the whole thing. Uh, you know, I don't see anything signed on this. So that's weird. I don't know. So I'll have to look into that. I'm thinking she must have seen a signature somewhere, some sort of branding, if she put it in there. Or maybe she just thought it looked like it should be. I don't know. What is this? This is cool. This might, um, let's see, magnet, definitely not gold. It's marked, I don't see it, anything. Let me see here. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not seeing any markings on this. So not sure why that's in the signed pieces, but can investigate later. Let's see what this is. Oh my. Okay, here we go. So it's some sort of beaded necklace. It's marked Chico's, lots of Chico's. All right, this looks cool. All right, this is marked Chico's also, it's kind of like a, I don't, I don't know, like a, would you consider that like a bib? It's really cool. I think that'll sell for sure. That's a cute piece. All right, this is a little red, white, and blue heart. And it says National Museum of the Marine Corps. Retails for $14.99. So, not a high-end piece, but it's cute. Let's see what this guy is. I don't know why I'm calling it a guy. Um, Chico's. Necklace. Mark Chico's. All right. And I have another two-gallon bag, whoops, full of um, signed pieces, so. Those will definitely be in a different video. This one is marked with that same, I think it says J or JD or PD. It's like cursive and it's really hard to see. It's got the little crown. And again, this is the third or fourth piece. It doesn't feel super high end or anything, but I'm hoping I'll be able to figure out what that is. Hopefully you guys know. All right, so this is, it says JK, I think. Let me get it closer. Oh, Jewel Cade. And it says bloom where you are planted. And it's got, I don't know what this Jewel Cade is, but I found a lot of it. Not a lot, but a few pieces. I think three. Feels like a lot. All right, let's see what this guy is. 
Ah, sorry, I keep saying this guy, this little gem. It's really cute. Um, it looks like it has a windmill and it is marked Sarah. So I'm guessing maybe Sarah Coventry. It's a cute piece. Uh, this looks to be a vintage clasp. Uh, let's see if I can get it open. Maybe. I thought I knew how to do this. Um, maybe I don't. Okay, maybe. It's just Avon, so I'm not going to waste my time. <gasps> oh, goodness me. All right, this is kind of interesting. Uh, it is marked loft. So it's a loft necklace. It's tangled. I'm not going to mess with it. It's kind of feels uh, kind of grimy. So it'll need cleaned up, which I don't really like to mess with. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what I'll do with that one. This is a... I don't know, they feel like rocks. They kind of look like rocks. I mean, what on earth? It's like, here, uh, let me get these stones out of my driveway and bead them. Let me see if it's marked on this clasp. I don't see any markings. It could be, I have no idea. I don't know, maybe a rock tumbler, but they, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't see it signed anywhere, but I could just be missing it. This fun piece is very fun. All right, this is marked, um, uh, let me see. Stella and Dot, I love Stella and Dot. I found some really neat Stella and Dot pieces. And it seems to have a decent following, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Very cool piece, Stella and Dot. The next one is this here. Um, this one says, let's see. Ah, it says you are clumsy. Oh, why? Wow. I'm not sure. Um. L B V Y R, L B V Y R. No clue what that is. This is what it looks like, and it's got these cute little flowers. I don't think it's anything to get very excited about, but this is kind of cool. All right, this is that same one. It's called um, Bead for Life. And they're real, I, I bet this is some sort of like maybe handmade thing. They're really pretty. So I gotta look into that, bead for life. Kinda like those bead for life necklaces. I can't tell if they're vintage or not. All right, what is this craziness going on here? It says Chico's. Whoa. Says crazy. All right, Chico's is like known for these things that dangle. This is kind of a cool piece. And then it's got the devil strand. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show you guys. So it's got this down here. And then, I don't know, kind of fun. I think that'll do okay because it's long. All right, this is a, she spent all this time putting them in bags and I'm taking them out. And then I will relist them and then put them back in bags. So this is black and white, or black market, white. Is it black market, white market? Black, white house, black market. <laughs> I'm so clueless. Okay, so it's just a little costume necklace. It's cute. I'm gonna do my best to list stuff individually because I've been selling a lot of stuff in bulk and I really, I, my, I need to, I need to focus here. This one says origami owl. And I think that, that I, I'm not sure. Maybe you put a charm right here cause it has two um, fastenings. Maybe you put the charm. I don't know. And 
Anybody know how Origami Owl works? I've sold Origami Owl. I've done pretty well with Origami Owl, actually. I'm glad I started a second video because the first one would have been super long. So this says Decree, JCPenney, $20. Um, that's what it looks like. It's cute. I mean, it's all right. Let's open this bag. You definitely can make some money here. Now, I think this is for sure Origami Owl. Because, again, I have sold quite a bit of it. Yep, Origami Owl. So, this one says Dream. And it's got a little music note, a hand with an eye on it, and something else in there. And these open. Well, maybe. And you can take the little charms out. So, it looks like an infinity sign, a music note, and... A hand with an eyeball so very cool again I just sold one of these that was from this same um, bulk buy and it sold pretty quick all right this feels very cheap and lightweight I mean you can hear it it's just kind of junky but it's a Chico's I don't know maybe somebody will want it because it's Chico's it, I mean, it doesn't look tarnished or anything. It looks to be in decent condition, just very lightweight and cheap. All right, let's see what this is. I think this has by far been my most fun thing to unbox. So I don't know, this is just a necklace on a chain and it says Chico's, imagine that. If, if Chico's is a good selling brand, I'm in the money because I got lots and lots of Chico's. Um, this feels like plastic. I don't think it, it's, I don't think, you know, I don't know. I think it's plastic. It says New York. Yeah, it's just a cheap plastic necklace. New York and Company. I think it's New York and Company. It's just signed in Y. Where's this? This is kind of pretty. It is marked with something on the back here as a closer look. It says, hmm, L maybe? You guys know what that symbol is? Let's see if it's on the back here. Here it is on the back. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see if our thing sticks to it. Well, it's not sticking. Maybe I should look a little closer. I don't see anything that says 925. Let me get my loop out. Yeah, I don't know if that's an L or what that is. It doesn't. I, it, I don't know what. I, I don't know what would be silver that doesn't stick to a magnet, but that's probably what it is. Because I don't think it's silver. This is cool. It's a nice little statement piece here. Guessing it's Chico's. It is. There you have it. It's got those cool beads on it. That's a cool piece. I think that'll sell. All right. This is a Chico's piece also. It's just costume. It's kind of cool. I'm guessing it um, fits pretty close to your neck. It's got the toggle clasp, so that's fun. Thank you, Moonstone Mamas, for teaching me what toggle means toggle closure all right this is a shell it's kind of neat and it is marked monet it's on a monet chain so i don't know there you have it kind of a fun little piece all right, let's see what's in here. Um, hmm, these might be, I don't know. Can't tell if they're shells or not, but I'm really, I think it's broken. Yeah, it's definitely broken. So I will put that over here, because it's broken. And I don't see any anything signed. She may have put it in there because it looks like um, shell. Mm. 
and this is marked it says hmm it's just got like a circle thing on it I don't know that's interesting it's definitely um, not silver I don't know if it's vintage or not the clasp doesn't appear to be vintage so I don't know what that is this is kind of cool. I'm kind of liking this. I think this will sell. It's really neat. And I think it's J. Crew. Yep. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. It's Loft. It's really neat. It's got like this, um, these beads are like wrapped in like this really uh, like material of some sort. That's really neat. I really like that. And it's long. Can you guys see it well? Pretty cool, huh? How it shimmers. That is cool, cool, cool. I'm excited about that one. I think it's neat. Can't wait to get a light box. I'm hoping that people um, message me back today and let me know what's going on. Hopefully they sent me the wrong one and they can get the other one shipped out. All right, so this is J. Crew. I was thinking it was. J. Crew has a very distinct look to their jewelry. And hopefully I can uh, do like a screenshot and find another one that's exactly like it. We are getting down to the end of the bag. This is fun. I don't know what this little guy is. I think he's ceramic. How cute is that? Um, the chain is really cheap. Uh, let me see if it says anything on it. Hmm. It says Germany, hmm, and it, it seems to be like one of those clasps that opens like this. You guys see that? Sorry, like that. It, I mean, it feels super cheap. There's no way it's silver, but it's not sticking, but I don't think that's silver. But that is definitely an interesting little ceramic guy. I don't know what it is. Okay, this isn't in a bag and oh it's a bracelet and a um it's got the magnetic closure and it has a bracelet that matches it and there you have it i don't know and let's see what this is all right so this piece no, I, I, I almost feel like you can see it better without the light. What do you guys think? Maybe I should have had the light off the whole time. This one says something uh, baked beads. Baked beads, whatever that means. I do have a light on overhead. I have to maybe look at this video before I start the next one and see if I like it with the ring light or without. I don't know why this is, this is definitely, <laughs> let me see if I can, I don't know why this is in the signed bag. I don't see anything signed. It's very uh, cheap, feels cheap. Maybe I'm wrong, it sticks to a magnet. And, so this is one of those that's like a pin um, that somebody has put on a chain because it's definitely a pin. Uh, the chain, I don't see any markings, but this pin is marked, um, hmm, Coventry. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's marked Coventry down there at the bottom. I think it's just a generic chain maybe. I don't even know if that's what it goes on. And we have one more bag to end this video. And hopefully by the time this video sh is aired, I will have a lot of this stuff up and listed in my store. So if you guys are interested, I've got the links down in the description of the video. 
This one says, oh, it's got that same symbol that uh, looks like a PD. I think I'm gonna take a picture of that and put it in a Facebook group and see if anybody knows what it is. So again, it feels kind of like it needs washed up. So part one and part two, if you missed part one, this is everything that was in part one and part two of the signed jewelry. There's some over here also, but definitely a big pile of good stuff that I'm super excited about. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I will try to get this stuff up and in my store before I, um, before I air this video so you guys can go in and take a look at what I have. Thanks for watching and being here, and we're going to go into my outro. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.